Hello everybody, this is Brian, the Finance Ninja. My job is to make you money by providing informed investing advice. I don't want to waste your time, so let's get right down to it. Today's video is about Square's earnings report and call. I'll give you the information about those as well as Square's present and future. I'll also include a golden nugget I found that I think many will skip that I think will drive Square's business far into the future. To avoid issues with YouTube, I'm just going to call it the global issue. The global issue has devastated Square's seller ecosystem by shutting down all of their customers. There's no business. There's no money. At the time, Square derived most of their money from these same businesses that were shut down. They should have gone bankrupt. Square, right now, should be a bankrupt company. Then, they pulled a rabbit out of a hat. Cash out blew everybody away. It's printing money hand over fist and growing rapidly. Square is exiting the issue far better than when they entered. That is underlying strength, and it is a very bullish sign. Now, let's get into the numbers. Sales surged 266%. How often do you see that number? It is very rare for a large cap company to boast those kinds of growth. It is astronomical. Remember, Quarter one last year included two months that were not shut down. So these are astronomical numbers. 266% revenue of $5.06 billion versus $3.37 billion expected. That means that they beat revenue estimates by 50%. Adjusted earnings, 41 cents versus 16 cents expected. And they lost two cents last year. That means they beat the earnings estimates by 156%. Oh my god. Now here's the golden nugget I think many will ignore. Point of sales jumped 39% year over year. Point of sales are recurring revenue and they invite Square into your business so they can sell you other things. Want your taxes done? Here you go. Want to link your current inventory levels to your website? Here you go. These customers are sticky and revenue will only grow from them as they purchase more Square services. They are not a one and done. Bitcoin revenue, $3.51 billion from $306 million last year. The profits are small, but remember this. This ties users to Cash App. Square may allow you to transfer Bitcoin for free, but they will leverage this to charge you for other Cash App services, like the Tax App. This is vertical integration at its finest. Now that the issue is gone, Square is primed for accelerated growth as one, their clients come back online quick, and two, they gain new clients to replace those lost to the issue. Both main businesses, commercial and cash shop, will keep accelerating at a very, very, very fast pace. This is an innovative company, so expect to continue to see new products come out for them. Also, it's gone a little bit under the radar recently, but I think it's huge. They snapped up credit card raise tax business for $50 million in cash in November. That is an absolute steal. They will integrate that into their products and increase their vertical nature. It's going into Cash Up. It's going to go into the Sellers app. It's going to go everywhere. This $50 million will turn into billions for Square. I think they will sell tax services to their business clients. They have all their financial information. It's a very easy upsell and they can integrate it seamlessly. This will print cash. And it only costs $50 million in cash. This is amazing. They are vertically integrated and have placed their chess pieces to launch the company to the moon in the next few years. So what do I give these numbers? On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 10. They knocked it out of the park. Just, oh my goodness, oh my god. A 50% beat top and bottom line. They are firing on all cylinders. Mark my words. This company will 5x in 5 years. Or not. I could be wrong. That's just where I think this company is going. What do I plan to do? I'm going to load up on more Square tomorrow. How will the stock do tomorrow? Honestly, I don't know. Growth stocks lately? No matter what numbers they put up, just get clobbered the day after earnings. Just company after company after company. Just all of them. Just destroyed. Normally, this kind of earnings report should net them a 15% or a 20% gain the next day. These numbers were enormous. But again, this is 2021, so who knows. But either way, as these astronomical earnings continue to keep coming in for Square, it simply cannot be ignored. The price will be going up over time. 
and that's why I am buying today. So if you are a fan of Square and you like these earnings, then smash that like button. It will help us in the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to see more content like this for Square and other companies, and I'll see you in the next one.